back in black. I hit the sack. It's been too long. I'm glad to be back. Greetings, denizens of YouTube. I am back. So for all three of you who have watched my channel, well, now you have occasion to celebrate. Bring out the booze. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm ready to come back to YouTube and start anew, this time with a brand new game that I shall display my prowess in. It is called Hawken. Now you might be wondering to yourself, what is Hawken? Well, Hawken is a first-person shooter developed by Adhesive Games that focuses on giant robots battling for supremacy. If that doesn't sound cool to you, well, you're probably dead inside. Hawken is actually more akin to the old arena shooters like Quake and Unreal Tournament rather than Mech Warrior, and it shows in its speed. Hawken is absurdly fast. It's really a game of the quick and the dead. If you don't move, you're good as dead. And it's impossible to camp, too. Or at least really tough. But enough talking about Hawken, let's just get in and show you some gameplay. Alright, let's do this. Giggity giggity. Alright, so here we have a team deathmatch on the map facility. The facility is a largely wide open map. There are some corridors in the center, but it's largely open space. For this reason, I'm going to bring my brawler equipped with the SA Hawkins to this match. Now, the SA Hawkins is a double barrel automatic cannon that is effective at mid to long range. In addition to its primary weapon, I have the Shield Mark II and the Repair Charge Mark II as items, and the Deflectors, Failsafe, and Extractors as internals. Now the match is about to start, so let's get rocking and rolling here. Come on, let's do this. And we're off! Now we're going to encounter some enemies on the far side of the bridge over there, and I'm peppering them with my Hawkins and tow rockets. Now, I'm trying to keep my distance because the Brawler's Hawkins is not very effective at close range. So here I am just hanging back, peppering them, and backing off because my heat is building up insanely fast. That's the one disadvantage of using the Hawkins with the Brawler, its heat buildup is crazy. So there's that sharpshooter over there, and I'm trying to aim at that Rocketeer, but I don't really get either of them. So I'm zooming in closer because the enemy seemed to have backed off from our initial attack. That guy gets lucky and scores a kill. Now I'm aiming for that Rocketeer over there, but I can't quite get him. I miss my toe, and I airburst my toe just, in, just out of range. Now this guy is coming in trying to flank me, but, but I think ahead and decide to um, heal a little bit, drop a repair charge, and get back in the action as soon as I'm done. So here he comes, circling around for another pass. I hover up to his position and start pounding him with Hawkins rounds and tow rockets until he dies. Yeah, buddy! So now a Rocketeer is targeting me, so I have to back off. I circle around this rock, and I basically find the Rocketeer, and I start hammering away at him. And this Technician, dear goodness, what is this Technician doing? Now, Technicians are meant to heal. They aren't really good fighters. They have the lowest DPS in the game, and they have weak armor, so... Technician taking on a brawler. Uh, that takes some courage, I'll give you that. But, um... Yeah, I'm getting pounded away here by that guy that was floating above earlier, and now this guy. And here, my ping starts to go absolutely crazy. And unfortunately, this is going to cost me my life. Yeah, so that is pretty unfortunate. You can see me checking the scoreboard over there to monitor my ping, and it is absolutely crazy right now. Fortunately, it starts to settle down as time goes on, and, well, I'll be able to get back in the game. That's just me checking the scoreboard again. So here I am, moving in closer, trying to get to where the action is. And over there, there's that assault that was peppering me earlier, the one that was floating around around that rock. And now he's got a technician on him, so he prob I probably won't be able to kill him. Now this guy comes sidling up to me, and then this Rocketeer starts showing up, and my heat is building up like crazy, so I need to like find a place to hide. I drop a shield right there, and the Rocketeer goes away for some reason, and this tech starts charging me. Dear goodness, what's that all about? 
but I don't get the kill for it, which is rather unfortunate. And my health is like below half right now, so I drop a repair charge in the shield, trying to heal up, but this guy rushes me and forces me out of my shield. So I was trying to stay close to the repair charge and get as much health as I can. And I'm, and I'm firing around to that corner, anticipating him coming, and he does. And now that assault over there is, like, flying. I don't know why he's flying, but whatever. So I decided to heal up, because I'm pretty weak right now. That's the thing about Hawking, your health does not regenerate. You have to hold down a key in order to get your health back, and you're vulnerable while you do so. So you need to find a place to hide, duck and cover, and hope the enemy doesn't find you. Now there's that guy that keeps sidling up to me. I don't know what's up with him. There's that Rocketeer. So I decided to target the Rocketeer because he's alone and without the support of his teammates. I get him with a few well-placed talking rounds and with support from my Reaper teammate over there. So now that Reaper is following me, and here comes a Sharpshooter. And I decided to pepper him with as much Hawking rounds as I can, but unfortunately my teammate gets the kill. Well, I don't know about unfortunately, but... I, it's just better when I have the kill instead of somebody else, you know? There's an assault over there, so I decide to hammer away at him. A few well placed toes and a couple Hawking rounds, and he's down. Now, this guy thinks he's clever and decides to go down the shaft, and, but that Rocketeer is there too, so I can't go down after him. So I'm thinking, oh hey, maybe he might come out the other end over there. So I decide to go over there in anticipation. But the Rocketeer comes out first. But he, he doesn't seem to know when to turn around because I was hammering him the whole time and he didn't notice. But there he comes and I get him too. So that was great. So there's someone down there. I'm going to see who it is. It's an infiltrator. The infiltrators are pretty weak. They don't have a whole lot of armor, but they're pretty nasty if you let them take advantage of you. They also have an invisibility cloak that um, makes them harder to see. So there's that hovering assault again, but except he's groundbound this time. I single him out and finish him off with some well-placed talking shots. But my heat is starting to build up and my health is starting to drop and I die to a bruiser. So that's rather unfortunate if I do say so myself, but it can't really be helped at this point. So I spawn back in. And I'm trying to make my way back to my team because, well, the thing about Hawking is you have to stay close to your team. If you're not near your team, you are you have a really high risk of being screwed over. Now I see some enemies over there, but I'm not sure whether, whether to proceed. There's a Rocketeer trying to heal, so... I nail him down, nail him to the wall. But that vanguard over there is proving to be kind of a tough foe, and my health is down by a quarter. So I back off for a bit, and this other brawler comes in with his Vulcan. I don't know why he's using the Vulcan, but whatever. Not my problem. So I let my weapons cool down for a bit, and I finish off the brawler. So now I take aim at this vanguard over here, and I just keep on hammering away at him until he dies. And then, and then that bruiser is attacking me. You get a nice triple kill, nice kill steal right there. So I keep trying to get that assault, but that technician comes in his way. And so I'm targeting the technician now. And I get a domination, which is always good. Dominations are great ego boosters. It's like... When you're utterly ruining someone's day, it just makes you feel good inside. Now, I see a Rocketeer, or is that a Vanguard? I don't know, I can't tell from that distance. I'm getting peppered a little bit by enemy fire, so I decided to run behind that rock, and now my ping is acting up again. So, I have no idea what's up with that. Comcast is not known for reliable service, I know, but still, that's that's still pretty bad. Now, I'm taking a, my sweet time trying to get this assault here. 
And I can't quite seem to get this guy. I mean, he um, is weaving around a little bit, and I'm missing my shots. And now he has a tech on him, which means he won't. Means he's going to be even tougher to kill. And I make a last ditch effort to escape, but since the brawler has one of the slowest speeds in the game, I can't get away. Which is terrible. So now I respawn. And trying to get back toward the action here. There's one thing about Team Deathmatch, the respawns are so random. It's like, it seems to spawn you away from your team for some odd reason. Means, meaning you're vulnerable to an enemy onslaught when that happens. So there's this brawler over there, I'm trying to get him. There's a bruiser right behind him, and I get the brawler. And I get a double kill with that assault. And I get another domination, which is always good. So I'm trying to get this assault here. I get him too. And now I'm trapped behind this rock. So I decided to repair. I get hit uh, by something while I'm repairing, so it takes a little so it's gonna take a little longer. But Hopefully I can get back into the action soon, and I do. So there's a brawler opening fire at range with the Vulcan. I don't know why he's doing that. Brawlers aren't very good at ranged combat with either the Flak or the Vulcan, so... But I'm hanging my distance, and this guy comes close. And I decide to um, pull back. I lie down a shield to try to block the enemy fire, but that doesn't really do so well as I get my health to shoot up. But in any case, the game is about to end, so I just decide to heal up. But this assault comes around, and I have to stop and basically deal with him. So now, the game is over. I'm at the top of the scoreboard. Look at my beautiful brawler. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty interesting match. It's rather low MMR. I think um, I think the last game I was in, it was like 1500 MMR on the server. For comparison, my MMR is like 1950. But still, it was a fun and enjoyable match and a great way to break the ice for this channel. Anyways, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever you guys do. I would definitely appreciate the subscriptions. That'd be awesome. All right. Peace.